guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In this week's video you're going to be hearing a lot of noise. Well let's introduce you to my new chick. Say hello. It's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> so excuse all the noise, uh, dogs running around, chicks being chicks and my daughter's supposed to be sleeping, um, but she's not having any of it, so that's her on the monitor. Anyway, why am I here? What's the point of this video? What are we doing? <laughs> I'm a little bit frustrated. I need to calm myself down. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another episode of Wreck This Journal and this week we're going to be attempting to do drip something here. This is page 74 and 75 of the book. Uh, drip something here, ink, paint, tea in brackets, close the book to make a print. I've seen a few of these on TikTok, um, a few people doing like spillages and then you add like drawings to it. Um, I've tr I've attempted that before actually and it didn't go well. <laughs> I've done it before. I'm sorry this is repeating an idea. Um, <laughs> I've attempted this before on page six and seven where it's pour, spill, drip, spit, fling, different coloured drinks here and I didn't love it. It didn't go very well. Uh, so my idea is to attempt it again and I still don't have much confidence in myself. So I'm really, really sorry if this goes really badly again. I've got some more inspiration and some better ideas of what I want to do to try and make it work. Instead of like visualising a certain thing, I want to go more landscape -y. This is going to be a very abstract, experimental piece and I hope you enjoy it with me. I hope I enjoy the process and mm, <laughs> I really hope I enjoy the income. <laughs> Not income, the outcome. <laughs> Should we just get on with it? Should we just try it out and see what happens? Uh, so let's drip some stuff on it. Okay, so thinking some ink. So I'm going to water down some ink. This is the ink that I got for my new ink pan, uh, which I haven't shown you yet, which is amazing. I will talk about that later. It's carbon ink and it's waterproof. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of ink and a bit of water into this cup. It even says close the book to make a print. So I want to show you what I'm seeing right now. So I'm thinking I might take a photo of it on the iPad and then kind of draw over it just to sh give you an idea. I'm seeing like a mountainous kind of thing and then the fountain is coming down into the tranquil water at the bottom. And I'm going to have like trees up here and birds in the sky. And I mean, it could be something like a butterfly because it's dee 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 dee. But I wanted to go more landscapey with this and I think that's what will satisfy um, me <laughs> in terms of the outcome. Um, so that's more what I'm going to go for, it's like a cliff. So let's, let's do this on the iPad, Let, let's show you. Okay, add screen size. Photo. Okay. So I'm thinking. What am I thinking? Ah! 
These are definitely birds. Squawk, squawk. These are like the trees. And then we've got a waterfall coming down here. And that's what I need to work out. I'm gonna have a look at some cliffs with waterfalls. I think that might help me. Imagine that that's where it's coming out of. So this is the water. And then it's gonna be like spraying. And we have lots of bubbles going on here. And then these are like the little rocks. So maybe use white pens for this actually. Oh, okay. Like use my white pens to give the effect of the water. Yeah, okay, that, that works, doesn't it? And then, yeah, so I just like keep adding trees and these bits around here. That's what, that's what I'm feeling. I feel a bit better now, I've done it on the iPad. This is why I'm really enjoying the iPad, because it's, it's a really good way of practicing what you want to do without having to ruin the actual piece that you're doing. And I've got a bit of a hill line going down here. So let's look at the tools I'm going to be using. This is the fountain pen that I've recently got and it is delicious. You see the nib is bent which allows you to do fine point and thick as well. I can't remember what it's called or anything. I'll leave the link in the description. And then I've got a Unipin fine liner in 0.5 and 0.1 for some really fine detail. I've got myself a white pencil and a Jelly Roll Sakura uh, pen. So that's what I'm gonna try and use. Let's see if this works to my favor. Okay, so let's go for the less scary part, which is the trees in the background. I feel like I can't really go wrong with them. Oh no, my point one is completely dead. I'm gonna go in with my Sakura Micron. Is it Sakura? Yeah, Micron pen. That, I'm gonna thicken up this line a bit. Just to kind of like give it a bit of spritz. I think we might need to add a bit of white gouache into this bit. I don't know about you, but white puskas aren't that vivid. White pencils, even the jelly roll. I still haven't found anything that is so white. Got this one here, but it's still very transparent, you know? It's you see that? It's like water. See what I mean? It's still very transparent. It's not a vivid white. Does anyone know of a good white pen? adding a bit of gouache now just to really bring out the white I'm 
So I just want to add some final touches to this. Um, I might add a little bit of watercolour to the top um, just to give it a bit of a blue sky. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more ink to darken up some edges and yeah, just these finishing touches that we need. I'm genuinely so pleased with the outcome of this. Um, I love that I added the blue at the end. I think it's really brought the picture together. Not gonna lie, I was expecting it to not go very well. Just like when I did page six, I think it was. And it just, it just lacks something. Whereas this, love it. Really, really pleased. And I'll definitely attempt doing this sort of thing again. Um, and have a real good play with it and I think it's really really good for the imagination as well because you, you've got to find things within you know the spills and I thoroughly enjoyed it I really hope that you did and uh, thanks so much for watching I'll see you next week bye if like me you like getting creative uh, not just art not just crafts but even if it's DIY or baking or gardening, whatever you're into that allows you to get creative, then feel free to come and join my uh, Facebook group. It's called Cassie's Creativity Club. And basically, we just share our artwork. We encourage each other, inspire each other. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.